things. Even within our species, we have different dietary needs at different ages. For instance, these little kittens are bottle babies and they should have had their mother's milk, which has all of the nutrients they need. But because they were orphaned, they have to have a formula that very closely simulates those same nutrients. In the work that I do, I've unfortunately seen it all and I can tell you how tragic it is when somebody feeds a kitten something that is not nutritionally complete for them. Hopefully it is obvious to you that oat milk or soy milk or almond milk or even cow milk doesn't contain the nutrients that kittens need. They need cat milk or a formula that closely simulates that. Now these kittens are... Yes, operative word being formula that simulates. So uh, please explain to me how you can't have food that simulates what they would need, you know, nutritionally, that's plant-based. Turning five weeks old and they are going to be weaning onto a diet of meat. And that's because meat is what cats eat. Cats are obligate carnivores, which means that they have evolved to- Make the argument, like make the fucking argument that cats cannot eat a plant-based diet. Where's the fucking argument? require a diet of meat in order to stay alive and healthy. Now you'll often hear vegans talking about Okay, you you're you're saying they have a diet uh, or to, that that's required for them to be healthy. Care to provide any fucking evidence that they need actual meat? You have to murder a fucking animal, feed him its dead rotting flesh in order to be healthy. Where's the evidence? So no, as long as the food is um appropriately formulated it can be plants all they need is the nutrition in that food so if they're getting the nutrition they need then they're fine how humans men's can thrive on a plant-based diet because our bodies very closely resemble or dude my cat could kick all your fucking cat's ass asses okay he's a big strong fucking cat you've seen him I don't know if I posted the photo on the on Instagram, but he's actually like fucking huge. Um, let me see. I had him. Uh, he was lying down next to. Yeah, there it is. So this is my she is a Norwegian elk hound. You can look up that, you know, type of dog and how big it is. It, it's a fairly like it's a medium sized breed, but. They're pretty big. He's fucking, he's big as fuck, dude. So he, this is a big, strong fucking cat. Um, he's been vegan since he was a little kitten around eight, uh, eight weeks old. And he's had no fucking health problems whatsoever. Like, please explain to me, where's the evidence for your fucking claim? You just keep appealing to nature. It's their natural diet and shit. Great. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Yeah, species. For instance, we have these broad, flat teeth, which are perfect for chewing and grinding plant matter. And we oh have God, these dear. very long digestive tracts, which are perfect for digesting plants. And all of that is true. And obviously, <clears throat> I don't know what the hell any of these physiological differences between us have to do with the claim that cats can't be vegan. Where is your evidence for the claim that cats can't be vegan? If you want to prove that, you, you know, ideally you'd have a randomized trial of some sort where, okay, get like a, a really well-formulated vegan uh, cat brand food um, that supposedly has all the nutrients they need, randomize the cats to these different diets. Well, then, um, you know, the cats on the, the vegan food should die, right? Or something horrible should happen. Okay, well, show us the evidence. Uh, like, oh, well, they have really sharp, pointy teeth. Great. I have a big fucking hand with, like, nice, thick knuckles on. 